Welcome to One Click Two Downloads. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in AL we have a couple of functions: upload into the, into stream, download from stream, that enable us to you know upload a file to Business Central, an attachment, an image, PDF, whatever, and download enable us to do the same thing. But these functions are weird no no they're not weird but they're quirky i think that's the right word um and a lot of people have discovered that you cannot do download from stream and then download from stream again if you have something that produces two files uh you know an invoice and packing slip or packing slip and a warning label or whatever it is um and the one of the, and I even think I have probably a video on that. One of the, the ways to get around this is to, um, you know, build a zip file and download a zip file with all the stuff. But in some cases, it might be way better for the user experience actually to download two files, but you know, only with one click. So how do we do that in Business Central? Um, Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, I have a blank thing here, so let's quickly uh, extend the, the the customer list just so we can get get a quick actions, a quick actions. Wow, a quick action at first in processing. Um, Yes, let's do that. Action download. Wow. Download. There you go. Caption equal download. Application area all. And we're off to the races. On action. So let's just quickly build something that we can actually download. So if we do create a temp blob, code unit temp blob. Um, and we let's create a an in stream because we probably need an in stream and somehow we also need an out stream. So the difference between an in stream and an out stream is that an in in stream you can read from, an out stream you can write to. Uh, there is a, a video going way back uh, three years ago or, or longer. Um, Call in, out, read, write, confusing directions, uh, where I kind of take you through these weird directions there are in these variables. I also think there's a couple of videos on streams just by themselves. So go check those out, out if you're unsure on streams. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna, I need to write stuff into my template. So I will create an out stream. And I'll just create the, the variable I call outstream here. Now I can do outstream uh, and I can write hello mom, I'm writing to a blob. There you go. Uh, so now I got that in my blob. Um, and I can then create a, you know, go create, wow, Let's see if I can. If they, I create an in stream, so I can read from the blob. That's pretty easy. And I can, I can do a download from stream. And let's look at the parameters that we get here, where we need to pass an in stream. Uh, dialog title is, doesn't matter, to folder doesn't matter, to filter doesn't matter. And, um, and then I need to supply a file name. So let's create a file name variable. Text, uh, and we get that file name uh, data wow well, data.dat how about that so I pass that in here file name perfect that is a, an awesome piece of code so let's run that uh, let me log in Come on, Business Central, you get ready. Come on, there you go. Somewhere I have a download function. 
I get a file. We can open data.dat somewhere. Uh, we get our file here. So perfect. Um, okay, so let, let's try to do the thing that we thought we could do. So I'll do file name equal data. Wow. Data two dot that. And I will, so by recreating the in stream, I kind of also reset the position of where of the data for the in stream. Otherwise, I already read the data that's in the blob field. So if I try to read more out of the, the in stream that has reached the end of the stream, then there's no more data to read. So by I don't, I, I could also have probably have done, which is something that we got in a newer version of. We cannot do this in all old version. I could have done position zero probably and getting away with that, but recreating it, uh, make sure that it is a fresh one. So I go download from stream. I get, uh, and, and yeah, now it's called data one because I already have data. Um, but nonetheless, I did not get two files. So from that aspect, this, and now you're yelling at me. Wow, you're yelling at me. Because, uh, but hang on, Eric, you never did download from stream again. <laughs> okay. Let, let's, and, and not this file. So let's, let's try that again, shall we? Wow. Hmm. That was, uh, so now I get data two, but I don't get data one. So I only get one file here even though I have two download from stream commands. So how do we go about actually getting another one without having to click one more time? Um, and the idea I have, which is totally honest, I did not test this before I click record, record on, the, on this video. So this might, if you see this, then what I'm about to do will, will work. Otherwise, this video will never see the day of light. Um, so let me create a, uh, a controller then called Downloader. Why not? If I can spell it Downloader. Um, and in this controller, then I want to have a procedure called download and I want to have an event called download. You cannot have a procedure uh, an event called the same, same so, so let's just call it download trigger. Um, so the idea is, and then we need to add a script. Oh, downloader.js. So let's add downloader.js. So if you haven't played with control in before, the idea is that now we're gonna use some JavaScript that runs in, 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 uh, in the browser. And uh, I'm gonna do this as simple as I can. So I'm gonna do microsoft.dynamics.nav.invote extensibility method. Uh, what did I call it? Download trigger. And right now without any parameters. Meaning that the only thing that we just kind of go out in the, in, in the browser and then starts to go back in again. So if I, and ignore this, you see if I compile this, this compiles fine, but somehow it takes a while for the, uh, 
uh, for the VS Code to figure out that this file actually exists. If you can wait, you can use reload window and then now it's happy. So if I go back to my page extension here, and then in the layout, wow, layout. How fun this, I don't have a great typing experience tonight. Uh, at last in con, oh, we're still loading. This is a big project. Why are we still loading? Ah, uh, let's ignore that. Add last in content, we'll add a user control, and the user control we'll add, is, let's call it down, and type is downloader, application error equal all, and then let's talk about a trigger, the download trigger. So in this case, let's move the temp blob out as a global variable. Here. And we actually let's just move the streams. I'm no now I'm I'm totally gonna break all my own rules. Um just because I'm lazy and adding those as, as globals. So what we what I wanna do is let's say we can we you know what? Let's add file name out here also then it's all good. So now I'm going to take these three lines here. So let's actually call this one data one. And I'll put this up in the trigger here and data two. And then here I want to do, I want to do cur page dot down dot download. Okay. Right. Let's see if this works, then I will explain what's happening. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 50 50 at this point. Let's see what happens. Download, download. Only let's just verify that is, we don't have any weird JavaScript. Something the file as was loaded or that should be served. That does, I don't think that matters. So we did not get, we got data two, but we did not get data one. Okay. Um, interesting. So what if we do this, oops, what if we do this before cur page dot down dot download? What if we do this before? So download from stream is the last thing that happens in this action. Download. BC23 wants to download multiple files. Hep. Ha ha, there's a reason you. Okay, so we got both files now. Is that a single warning or is that a multiple one? What, what if I do this again? Now I only got data two. I did not get data one again. So now I got data one. So m there might be some sort of delay needed. Um, in order so what happens if we simply do sleep a 
a second here. Okay, let's go here and then I'm just going to say clear all download history. Yeah, so now we, it's easy to see. I go download. I get two files. Okay, I go download. I get two files. Yeah, so we just needed a small thing to uh, to prevent this from happening on top of each other. Okay, so, so let, let's uh, let me recap what I'm actually doing. So we click on the action. We get one download, but then we call out into the page and just do a quick turnaround and see on a page, we're just going to call back into Business Central. But this trigger, where is it? The, the download trigger. So the, the, this trigger, that being called is not is not a inline it's not a synchronous call with this one so this one happens and then events are set up to eventually go back and trigger this thing so it's not the same operation so we get the other one downloaded separately um, and and the browser is happy so the only thing that's so it seems that, and and maybe we need to to read the manual together. Uh, uh, maybe we simply need to read the manual. Does it state that this has to be the last? What what are we? We are in. Well, that's nav documentation. We don't want that. Uh, is it this one then? Yeah. Yeah. Does it have to be the last statement? Remarks. Uh, node. In the browser can only handle one file per request. Therefore, with the web client, if this method is called in repetitive statement or followed, then it generates multiple files. Only the last file will be sent to the browser. Alternatively, use a SIP or see video. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess we cheated the uh, we we hacked the function. Uh, well, we didn't really hack anything, but in this way you can, and we could probably tweak the, uh, the, the, the timer, uh, or we could get more clever and see if something happens before we do something else. Uh, maybe we in, in the web page, we can detect that a download has happened and then we, we go back and ask for the next download. Uh, but it's possible this way to, to actually get multiple downloads. So, uh, uh, that's a nice hack, I think. Anyway, check this video out while I go pack my suitcases for uh, for directions. Uh, I'll see you there if you're there. Otherwise, check this video out. It's for you. Take care. Bye.